Hi, in this video we're going to be having a look at malicious software, normally known as malware. The first one we're going to have a look at is a virus. You've probably heard this term, but specifically a virus is a piece of code that can replicate itself. It can copy itself and so it can attach itself to emails that you sent out or files that you sent to a client. It can also travel through a network, so it's actively replicating itself and it's there to cause damage. So it might corrupt files, it might delete files, it may do something else, but a virus specifically can replicate itself. Another type of malware is a Trojan. Now, instead of replicating itself and actively seeking out ways to infiltrate a system, a Trojan is a lot simpler to get infected with. You might have heard the story of the Trojan horse. This is when the Greeks and the Trojans were fighting a long war and Odysseus, the leader of the Greeks, wanted the war to come to an end. He came up with a sneaky plan. What he said is that a lot of his soldiers would look like they were retreating as if they'd given up and the Trojans had won. And they left a large wooden horse outside the city gates as a sort of reward for winning the war, as you were. The Trojans, when they saw this, they thought, ah, we've won. And they've left us a great big horse, which is a bit odd, but that's what they went with. The Trojans, to celebrate, wheeled the great big horse in, but they didn't realise that Odysseus and a lot of his Greek soldiers were hiding inside this hollowed out large wooden horse. That night, when the celebrations were over and everyone had fallen asleep, then the Greek soldiers sne sneaked out and killed everyone, thus winning the war. So really, a Trojan is when it's pulled into the city themselves, and that's what Trojan software does. It's um, is software that the victim accidentally downloads thinking it's another type of software. So this could be um, a, a free game that you download onto your smartphone. It could be um, a, a virus checker when it says you've got a virus and you haven't really, and then you download it and you end up getting the virus. So there's all sorts of ways that these Trojan software can get into your system by pretending to be official software that you might actually want. Now, once you've been infected with some sort of malware, either through a virus or through a Trojan, then there's different types of malware. There's spyware. Spyware sits on your computer and it looks at what you're doing and it records what you're doing. So it can get access to your passwords, your sensitive information, any sort of data like that. This is then sent back to the cyber criminal so they can pretend to be you or to gain access to your files. Another type is adware. Now, adware is more annoying than anything, but it can have other software involved as well. And that's when you get these sort of pop-ups coming up on your computer, which is very annoying. They often hide something else, but they might be there to try and get you to download some more software, as it were. There's also phishing. These are the emails that you get from people pretending to be someone like a bank or a, an acquaintance and they're actually trying to trick you into giving away some personal information, normally bank details. And finally there's farming and this is when you have a website that pretends to be a different type of website. Now these can look quite sophisticated and often it's very difficult to tell the difference between these and the genuine site. The URL the universal resource locator, the address at the top, should be able to tell you whether it's the genuine site or not. And there's often a letter which is either missing or duplicated in that. So there's different types of malware that you need to be aware of.